Hi, I'm Jeff Mullen. I'm founder and CEO of Dynamics. Started Dynamics to solve some of the largest problems in payments, and we have. Dynamics has raised over $110 million, has grown to over 200 employees, and Dynamics is currently fulfilling orders for millions of next generation interactive payment cards and next generation processing accounts. Dynamics is the only company in payments that does next generation interactive card design, interactive next generation processing, and next generation fulfillment and personalization all under the same roof. As a result, we can introduce a number of very innovative products that solve real problems in payments. Last November, Dynamics closed a $70 million round of investment led by MasterCard. Joining us on stage today is Pete Callback, uh, business leader, senior business leader of MasterCard. Uh, and today, Dynamics and MasterCard are going to introduce a technology that solves a major problem in international payments. The problem is, is that when an international traveler goes from country to country and they use their cards in a country that's not associated with where the card is issued, they are charged 100 to 200 basis points of international cross-border fees. Today, Dynamics and MasterCard will eradicate that fee using interactive payment card technology and next generation processing solutions. To show you the device, we're gonna to go to the overhead, the hothead, and we're gonna show you what we call the multi-currency card. Right off the bat, you can see there's two buttons on the card, each one's associated with a different currency. For this card, we have pounds and we have euros. When a traveler is in the United Kingdom, they can press the pound button. The card then writes a pound-based account number to the Magstripe, a pound-based account number to the EMV chip, and a pound-based account number to the contactless chip. So when that UK transaction is authorized, it's authorized against a pound-based personal account number. When the consumer goes to a Euros-based country, they can press the Euro button. That then writes a Euro-based account number to the Magstripe, a Euro-based account number to the EMV chip, and a Euro-based account number to the contactless chip. As a result, this consumer, as they travel from country to country, does not have to pay the extra 100 to 200 basis points in cross-border transaction fees. Here to talk about uh, the additional benefits of interactive payment cards and the multi-currency account is Pete Callback of MasterCard. Thanks, Jeff. So MasterCard invested in Dynamics for a number of reasons. First off, Dynamics is in the card technology space, which means they manufacture cards that feature buttons and lights and displays that allow a consumer to interact with that card as if they were interacting with the device and allows them to make decisions and choices before they actually get to the point of sale. And MasterCard finds that very valuable because it teaches consumers a very valuable skill. If you think about the evolution of payments, you have plastic cards over here, and you have digital payments over here. Card technology sits somewhere in the middle and it helps the consumers move along that continuum because it teaches them that very valuable skill of being able to interact with your device before you make a payment, similar to, to how you'd interact with a mobile device before you'd make a payment. Now, the second thing is that Dynamics has some really cool technology. Now, we didn't just invest in them because they have cool technology. We invested in them because they can turn that technology into differentiating products. Our issuers, our banks, are always looking for differentiating products for their portfolios, ways to, to differentiate their portfolios from the other ones out there. These products, they can do that because uh, you know, they, they have some really interesting features that just aren't out there in, in cards today. Um, the card that, that we're talking about today, the multi-currency card, is also extremely simple to use and simple for a consumer and just allows them to save money. It's as simple as that. When a consumer travels, let's say they travel to Bel Belgium, they can simply push a button and save money. All they really have to do is remember what country they're in. Uh, if they travel across the pond, let's say they go back to the United States, so they, they travel to the US, they have to push the US dollar button and they save money. It's an extremely simple proposition that's kind of, that's figured out by having a whole lot of really amazing technology. So I'm gonna pass it back to Jeff and he can talk a little bit more about that technology. Thank you very much. We're gonna go to the hothead again. And so, by having a computer and a card, you also have a very customizable platform. This card has two buttons for two currencies. We can add multiple buttons for additional currencies. We're currently working with a European issue on a three button variant of this for their travelers so that they have three currencies they can select from when they make purchases internationally. However, let's look at actually the power behind the plastic. Right off the bat, you can see there's an entire computer architecture in the card. Cards are just as thin and flexible as a normal card, and there's over 100 electrical components squeezed into one-tenth of a cubic inch of space. 
all of these black specks, their semiconductor dye. There's almost a dozen dye, many of which are dynamics proprietary silicon. There's so much power in this card that the card actually transacts EMV transactions faster in many cases than traditional EMV products. Furthermore, we focused on security. There is no EMV chip on the surface of this card. This is just a printed image. There is a metal that we embed down into the card so that we can actually put the secure element on the other side of the card embedded in plastic. As a result, you have a much more durable card because there's no chip on the surface of the card that can pop out or get damaged. Furthermore, it's more secure. There's a number of surface level chip attacks that you cannot do with this card because there's no chip on the surface of the card. Additionally, we had to redesign this European card uh, to add more power. And so you can see about a third of the device is actually a next generation battery. This card can survive for over four years on the original battery charge. So it can survive under traditional expiration dates. However, the card is just a portion of the solution. We also create a next generation interactive processing technology that we call dynamic account synchronization that allows a consumer to interact with one account, um, but have multiple accounts that are doing the authorizations. And what we do is we echo and trickle actions from different accounts back and forth between them. So the consumer can have one device and two buttons and one billing statement, even though they're using multiple accounts and multiple currencies. Additionally, the cards are so durable that they are also completely waterproof. They can survive in your washing machine. I'm Jeff Mullen, Pete Callback from MasterCard. If you'd like to interact with these devices or some of the other products we've recently announced in the United States, please stop by our booth. Thank you very much. Thank you.